Hello everybody, uh, today I'm going to be talking about Prim's algorithm and I'm going to try to do it in 7 minutes. I'm going to talk about what it is, uh, the problems it solves, I'm going to give you a demonstration and the time and space efficiency of the algorithm. Alright, let's get started. So what is Prim's algorithm? Uh, it was originally devised by, I'm not going to try to pronounce that, in 1930 and rediscovered by Robert C. Prim in 1957. It is a greedy algorithm used to find the shortest possible path to all nodes in a graph. Uh, so what makes the algorithm greedy? It chooses the shortest slash cheapest path from its selection of nodes to another nearby unvisited node. If this is confusing, don't worry. I'll be doing an example later in the video. Alright, so some real world problems it solves. Uh, it can contribute to GPS. It can calculate the fastest route to a destination by picking the shortest route. Now, this algorithm doesn't always work for efficiency, but it'll try to choose the shortest route based on the weights of nearby nodes. So it doesn't always work for long distances because it has to go through a lot of nodes. But it'll pick the shortest route for nearby nodes for sure. Airline management, uh, same thing here. If it can't go directly to its destination, it, it might pick another route through another airport that might be cheaper to do so. Uh, delivery drivers, so same thing. It can find the fastest route around to certain houses if the mail person is starting at the facility, for example. Here I am with the example of Prim's algorithm. So I'm just going to start off by saying uh, I created this whole little US thing. And this is what, I'm just going to show you what Prim's would do if you were to program it and implement it into something like this. Uh, so I'm just going to go through the steps of what it would do. So we're going to start at Augusta. So it's just going to pick the lowest number from the point of where it started and any node that it hasn't been visited yet. So let's go ahead and start. So we're starting at Augusta. So Augusta to... So let's go ahead and pick a number here. So we got 7, 4, and 6. So if we're starting at Augusta, it's going to pick the lowest. So we're going to go to Nashville for 4. I'll go ahead and mark that real quick. So there we go. Nashville has been visited. It's indicated by the red. There we go. So this is anything that's red has already been visited. So that's how we're going to go by it. All right. So now we have two nodes. So we already visited Nashville. So we're going to pick the shortest distance that we haven't visited a node yet. So 7, no. Okay, we got 2. Okay, that's the lowest so far. 3, 7, 4, 5, 3, and 6. So 2 is obviously going to be the lowest. So we're going to go, we go Nashville to Milwaukee. So now we visited Milwaukee. So now we have three nodes that we can go from in order to find the lowest. So we got 8, no. Uh, well, that's the minimum, so it'd read, oh, minimum. And so, no, 3 is less, so it'd say, oh, 3. 3, 7, so no. 4, 5, no. 3, maybe. So we got three threes here. So it, it'll pick, it'll eventually pick one of these. So we're just going to go with this top one here. So we're going to go from Milwaukee to Omaha. So now we visited Omaha. So now we're going to go ahead and find the next lowest number. So we already visited Omaha, so that's 3, so we don't need this one anymore, so that one's irrelevant. So, so we already visited that, so 8, 6, 6, 4, 5, 4, 3, 5. The algorithm would pick up, oh hey, 3 is going to be the lowest here, so it's going to pick 3. So we're going to go from Nashville to Norfolk. Nashville to Norfolk equal to three and now we have five nodes picked so we're going to pick the minimum so six is the minimum so far five is the minimum four is the new minimum seven's not three that's we already visited that so we can't pick that one uh five so it's still four four so that we got another four here that we could choose six six eight so no no so we're going to pick this four right here because it's the northernmost four we're going to pick that Okay, so now we're going to Albuquerque. So we went from Omaha to Albuquerque. There we go. It's equal to four. Okay, now we're going to pick the next minimum. So we got, see, that's six destinations we've already been to. We'll just start at the bottom. We'll go to Norfolk. Six, minimum. Five, okay, the new minimum. Four, new minimum. No, I can't do that. So we've got this four so far. Can't do that. Go to Omaha. Five, no. Three, okay. That's the new minimum. Six, six, eight. So no, no, no. And four, if I didn't say that already. So three is going to be the new minimum. 
So we're going to Houston, everybody. So now we got all these destinations to pick from. So we're going to pick the next lowest. So we got, let's start up here. Eight. Six. Six. So so far I got six. Four. It's going to be four so far. I right, visited. I right, visited all these. So then we got these down here. So we got seven, five, and six. So it's still four. So we're going to pick this four right here. Because that's the minimum from an, from a visited node to an unvisited node. Albuquerque to Fresno. All right, so we're eight ads and destinations, and now we're gonna pick the next lowest. So we got eight, six, five. So so far it's five. Then we got seven, five, or six. So we're gonna pick the northernmost one. So we're gonna pick the five from here from Fresno to Seattle. So we're gonna go seven. No. Oh, seven minimum. Okay. And then we got five, so that's going to be the minimum, and a six. So it's obviously going to be five because that's the minimum. That went from Nashville to Miami. So uh, this is what the computer would be outputting. It would be outputting all the steps. And meanwhile, it would also have a total counter in the background. And the total counter would be adding up all these steps or all the edges that it's taking. So uh, let's go ahead and find out the total here. So total is going to be 33 minimum. Spanning tree. A good example of why greedy algorithms don't always work is because, as you can see here, from Augusta to Seattle, 15, but instead it went 22. So it could have easily done 15, but instead it did 22. So that's why greedy algorithms don't always work because they, they only pick the cheapest possible way to the next available node. So it doesn't always work for every situation. All right, I'm going to talk about the time and space efficiency here. Uh, so it really depends on the implementation of the algorithm because there's plenty of ways to implement it. Using an adjacency matrix and searching is big O of V squared. Using a binary heap and adjacency list is big O of absolute value of E log absolute value of V. And then using a Fibonacci heap and adjacency list is big O of absolute value of E plus absolute value of V log absolute value of V. Alright everybody, I hope you enjoyed watching. If you have any questions, please leave them down in the comment. Hope you all have a great rest of your day.